You're watching Bean TV, the world's sexiest wine media pack with lady boys and good wine. And today, as always, the hosts are Arto, the wine devil, Koskelo and Ilka Ziren. And Jans is, is somewhere, can you pick it up? Yeah, let's have Jans here. Jans. Now we are all set to go. So today we have a wine. What can you tell about this wine? Well, nothing much, actually, <laughs> as always. It's made by our uh, mutual friend, Marco Zanetti, the wine punk. Uh, he's a good guy, and uh, it's called Vigna Dogarina, made out of interesting variety called Rabosa. Rabosa is something that's pretty common, or at least used to be pretty common in the Veneto region in in northern part of Italy, but these days it's uh, more like a curiosity yeah. sort of uh, variety. It's supposed to uh, make wines with deep color, a lot of everything, high level of tannins, good acidic backbone, but low level of alcohol, for example, this bottle has only 12 and a half. Well, that's a kind of unusual combo to have heavy texture and heavy color and low alcohol. Yeah, it makes this an uh, even more interesting bottle. Well, anyways, I thought that we could actually go taste this outside because it's fucking hot outside. Oh, inside. Well, Helsinki is not hot, but uh, <laughs> you can see these lies that we have and this paper is actually the paper that you use in the oven and it's exactly what you feel like here. So let's go outside to the balcony. So what we have here is a typical white trash setting in a suburban Helsinki home. So let's have a sit here and uh, enjoy the wine. Oh, this one. I can't believe that Jensen actually smokes that much. Hurry up, Billy Bob Joe. <laughs> Well, in the meanwhile, you can enjoy the beautiful view of Helsinki. And the sound of motorcycle. This is probably the last warm day in Helsinki because it's the early September at the moment while we're shooting. Usually the winter sort of begins at the September, late, late September, October. Muy bueno. Yep, thank you. So we can see the color is actually rather dark, but it's also at the same time ruby, not like this uh, blue-hoish color, it's like uh, more like a uh, red tinge. And you really get this kind of uh, black licorice aroma on the nose. But one thing is for sure, you can't pick any alcohol from this one. So 12.5 doesn't show in the glass, it is a good thing, you can drink more glasses while you're eating. Or just sitting on your white trash chair like we are. Mm. So give us your comments. I kind of like the, um, the the level of acidity. The tannins are kind of well, actually, they're on the back end. They are quite strong. I mean, you feel it. It's a full wine. It's pretty good. I like. It. For me, one thing that uh, I really like on, on, on this wine is that. Uh, like in many Grenadian wines, you have this sort of uh, sweetness in the, on the palate. But in this one, there's no problem. It's actually uh, more like acidic, fresh, though full-bodied. And for me, this is the style of Venetian wine that I really And that like. actually sounds like a description of Marco as well. <laughs> <laughs> full-bodied, acidic, you know. No, I'm really enjoying this wine, but definitely if we had some food, we don't. We have to actually eat some quail. Probably, and it's a good one. So, so combine with quail or with rubber duck. And uh, thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time. Cheers to Marco.